Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing today? Today is Sunday the 21st and I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, this is my veto number 17. I'm going to keep it just as short as I can. I want to thank everybody that jumped in to help me with the mouse problem. And uh, I'm sorry to those that thought that I was talking about UFOs in my title when I said invasion. <laughs> I guess some people jumped on to watch thinking I was going to talk about UFOs invading us or aliens or something. And I apologize for that, but doggone it to me, it was like an alien invasion. I got some great information great information on what to do about them. And my husband will com be coming home today to help set, tra tra help set traps and uh, get this issue taken care of. The mice were up playing all night, so it's very quiet right now. And uh, I'm glad of that. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get on here and share today something that I think is very important. You know, we're, we're covering a lot of very negative uh, topics and issues that are going on in our world today. And many of us are becoming very pessimistic and, and negative and sour. And uh, I see it in comments where people are biting at each other and different things. And there's always two ways to look at things. We know that. The old glass thing, you know, is the glass half full or half empty. There's always two ways to look at it. Well, somebody sent me something, and being a dreamer, which I am, I'm a dreamer, I have a lot of dreams that are, I guess you could say prophetic, because they come true. I dream about things, and they come to fruition. It it's hard to explain, but it's very true. And I, I've done that for a long time, for as long as I can remember. I also get messages in dreams that sometimes I have a notepad right by my bed. I'll actually wake up and write these things because to me, I think they're very important pertaining to my family, which is the world's people. So anyway, I'm not alone. There are many, many people. And I'm, I'm being brought to these people. We are associating with each other for a reason. I call us teachers. Because there are messages that we share. And we share them not all knowing. We're not all knowing. But we're getting pieces of this great puzzle that will, in time, make our world better. And uh, something was shared with me, and I asked for permission to share it with you. It was granted on the basis that I don't mention who it came from, and the reason is because this person doesn't believe that they created this. They believe that it was a message given to them from the universal energy, just like the dreams that I have, and most likely you have, messages that come that you just get this strong feeling you're supposed to share. So the glass, is it half full or half empty? Is it good or is it bad? What's happening in our world? Do we see it as all bad? Are are we consumed with the negativity? Or can we find some good in it? Can this stuff be useful to our benefit? I want you to hear this. I'm going to read it to you. A person walking a path toward home is confronted by the devil. The devil tries to scare this person by jabbing at them with his pitchfork and clumsily drops it. The person picks it up and starts after the devil 
with this pitchfork raised to pierce him, drop his evil carcass in the dirt. The devil knows this and being a coward runs away fast and disappears to hell before this person can dispatch him. Now this person has the pitchfork and continues home to his village and tells everyone what has happened and shows the pitchfork. The tool was used to harvest souls. So everyone has great concern that this device is only evil. They feel this evil and wonder if they should bury this device of evil. But it is known that a new pitchfork will be very helpful to harvest this wonderful crop that is a day from being harvested. The person who brought this tool home pondered this for a while and realizing that he had just used this tool to chase the devil away. Therefore, it can be used for good. So he brought everyone in the village together for a meeting, explained that this tool can be used for good, and that that feeling in our mind can change by our own will. Let's bless it with our love. They did this and harvested the crop using it and the bread made from this grain was so delicious that feeling amongst the people had changed. The end. The person that sent this to me says, now my moral to the story is everything, everything is in our own minds. We control proper perception using our greatest power of all called love. We are going to turn evil inside out and push it out of our mind's perception as we all know beyond a shadow of a doubt because we know it will not fit in our plan. Will not fit in our plan. Hate grows weeds. Nurture your garden with love. No GMO and pull those weeds. Now think about that, friends. Think about that. We harvest either positive or negative, depending on whether we're consumed with bitterness, anger, hate, corruption, lies, deceit, on and on. Or we can harvest positive with good, kindness, caring, sharing, love. Wow. Pull the weeds. Pull the weeds. Pay atten attention to what we, each one of us, is doing. We can change this. We can. I've been saying that all along. I hope you're listening. You are the most powerful, and I'm talking to each one of you individually. Yes, you. You are the most powerful being in the entire universe. You were made that way. Find it. It's inside you. And again, it begins here. And now we know 
our will, here, our thinking, and our heart. Wow. What we could do. I love you all. Great big hugs. This is the end of number 17. And I'll catch you guys later.